ஹாய் நீட் ஆஸ்பிரண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி வாரி மெடிக்கல் அகாடமி சார்பாக அனைத்து விதமான டாபிக் சார்ந்த ஒவ்வொரு வீடியோவும் இனி வரும் நாட்களில் உங்களுக்கு வரும் உங்களுக்கு இதை சார்ந்த சந்தேகங்கள் கேள்விகள் எதுவாக இருந்தாலும் கமெண்ட்ஸில் பாஸ் பண்ணுங்க எங்க எக்ஸ்பர்ட் ஃபேக்கல்ட்டி மெம்பர்ஸ் போடுற வீடியோஸ் பிடிச்சிருந்ததுன்னா ஷேர் பண்ணிக்கோங்க அந்த வீடியோ ரெகுலராக உங்களுக்கு வரணும்னா சேனலை சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க தேங்க்யூ விஸ் ஆல் தி பெஸ்ட் யா குட் மார்னிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இன் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ இண்ட் அயானிக் பாண்ட் அண்ட் கோவலண்ட் பாண்ட் நவ் கோவலண்ட் பாண்ட் ஆல்ரெடி யூனோ வாட் இஸ் கோவலண்ட் பாண்ட் த பேர் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் மியூச்சுவலி ஷேரிங் பிட்வீன் டூ ஆட்டம்ஸ் மியூச்சுவலி ஷேரிங் பிட்வீன் டூ ஆட்டம்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஐ ஆல்ரெடி எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இஃப் யூ டேக்கிங் குளோரின் இயர் இஸ் ஆமினி எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் ஆர் ப்ரெசென்ட் இன் குளோரின் இட் இஸ் த செவன்த் குரூப் எலிமெண்ட் தெஸ் ஃபை Another chlorine also here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This one I explained in the last video. This is called a covalent bond. What is covalent bond? The pair of electrons shared by two atoms mutually. That is called a covalent bond. Next, what are the favorable conditions for a covalent bond formation? Favorable condition. favorable condition for favorable condition for covalent bond formation covalent bond formation what are the uh, favorable conditions favorable conditions I have to what are the favorable conditions means <coughs> first one write down small size of cation smaller size small size of cation that is the favorable condition first favorable favorable condition for covalent bond formation one is the small size of cation it if small size means it is easily form the covalent bond next one is the larger size of anion larger size of anion this is also another condition for favorable condition larger size of anion for example larger size of anion means we can take uh, cl minus o2 minus 2 n3 3 minus which one is easily uh, favorable condition larger size of anion larger size of anion is more favorable for covalent bond formation here is smaller size of cation smaller size means i am taking lithium plus and sodium plus and potassium plus and rubidium plus here is which one is easily form the covalent bond lithium lithium is the smaller size that's why easily covalent bond is formed next one is the charge on more charge or more charge more charge on cation and anion okay now more charge on cation and anion it will be more charge on cation and anion it is a more favorable for a covalent bond formation next one is high ionization energy high ionization energy high ionization energy also favorable condition if you have more ionization energy if more ionization energy means you are difficult to remove the electron what is ionization energy ionization energy means the amount of energy required to remove the electron valency electron of isolated neutral gaseous atom that is called ionization energy if it is having ionize high ionization energy more favorable condition for covalent bond formation these are the conditions you have to favorable condition one is the smaller size of the cation next one is larger size of anion next one more charge on cation and anion next one is i ionization energy next one is what are the properties already we discussed uh, ionic bond properties properties of ionic bond means ionic bond is soluble in polar solvents 
these points we discussed the melting point boiling point point physical state we discussed now properties of covalent bond what are the properties of properties of covalent compounds or covalent compound or covalent bond covalent compounds if covalent compounds what are the properties are exhibit now properties of covalent bonds here is covalent bonds or covalent compounds exist in covalent compounds are exist in solid a liquid liquid and gas liquid and gas three states are available the covalent properties of covalent compound in solid state liquid state and gaseous state which one is a solid state if you take i2 this one is a solid state and a liquid liquid is a bromine br2 next one is a gas in this one is a chlorine cl2 and three states are available for covalent solid liquid and gas next one is the covalent compounds covalent compounds have covalent compounds covalent compounds have compounds have low melting point low melting point and boiling point low melting point if you compare the ionic compounds ionic compounds are having high melting point boiling points but covalent compounds having low melting point low boiling point except except write down except if you take diamond if you take diamond high boiling and melting if you take carborundum sic if you take sio2 and next one is boron nitride these are the example how exceptional cases exception is diamond it is high melting point carborundum sic uh, silica sio2 bn boron nitride these are having high melting and high boiling point but covalent compounds have low melting point and boiling point next one covalent compounds covalent compounds soluble in covalent compounds soluble in non polar solvents it is soluble in non polar solvents it is soluble in non polar solvents very important point covalent compounds are soluble in non polar solvents if polar covalent if polar covalent polar covalent compounds polar covalent compounds more soluble in more dielectric constant of solvent if more dielectric constant if it is more dielectric constant dielectric constant means i am writing dc more dielectric constant of the solvent more dielectric constant of the solvent means polar covalent compounds are more solubility more soluble more soluble if the solvent is less less dielectric constant that is less soluble less soluble these are the properties of ionic compound first one is a solid liquid gas in solid state i2 liquid br2 gas and cl2 next one covalent compounds having low melting and boiling points but exception these are the compounds exceptional next covalent compounds are soluble in non polar solvent but ionic compound soluble in polar solvents next polar covalent bonds polar covalent bonds means we can take hcl hcl hbr and hi next hno3 these type of compounds more soluble in more dielectric constant of solvent what is dielectric constant these points you have to write first next uh, i will erase it okay next point we have to discuss 
what is the dielectric constant dielectric constant means the covalent compound the polar covalent or covalent compound is dissociated or splitted into ions what is the dielectric constant dielectric constant electric constant constant means what is the dielectric constant means the covalent molecule the covalent compound splitted into ions the covalent compound the covalent molecule or covalent compound splitted into splitted into ions that is called dielectric constant which solvents having more dielectric constant for more dielectric constant more dielectric constant which type of solvent having polar solvents are having polar solvents what are the polar solvents polar solvents means water next one ammonia nh3 next hydrogen hydrofluoric acid next one is ethanol c2h5oh next one is methanol these type of substances these types of compounds more dielectric constant this is the polar solvents having more dielectric constant but less dielectric constant less dielectric constant electric constant for what are the example benzene benzene next carbon disulfide carbon tetrachloride this type of solvents are have less dielectric constant and uh, these type of uh, substances h2o nh3 hf c2h5 methanol ethanol having more dielectric constant if it is having more dielectric constant means polar covalent compounds are more soluble in more dielectric constant solvents next one is in covalent compounds in covalent compounds in covalent compounds in aqueous state aqueous state and molten state or molten state it is a not good conductors it is not act as a conductor because no free electrons are there no free ions because covalent compounds in aqueous state and molten state it is a not good conductors not good conductors except what is the except that is graphite graphite free electron is there because in graphite free electron is responsible for conduction that's why graphite is act as graphite is act as act as conductor because free electron is present pre electron is present that is responsible for conductance these are the points next one is if you take covalent compounds like ch hcl hno3 next to h2so4 and next to hi this type of substance polar covalent compounds it is soluble in water it is soluble means if you if you pour it in water here is how to form here h plus cl minus h plus no3 minus number of ions it can be splitted into ions in aqueous solution polar covalent compounds are more conductance it is responsible for conductance these are the important next one is covalent compounds like chcl3 ccl4 next one is ch2cl2 it is not react with agno3 
it is not reaction with agno3 why agno3 it is reaction or whatever it reaction with agno3 no precipitation is formed what is the reason because no chlorine is free no chlorine is replacing that's why it is no reaction with agno3 no precipitation is formed these are the properties of ionic compounds what are the no, no, no. properties of covalent compounds we are don't confuse here is hcl hno3 h2so4 more soluble in water here is more conductance is observed but chcl3 ccl4 ch2cl2 it is not reaction with agno3 there is no precipitation these are the points properties of covalent compounds next topic is you have to write this one hcl and hno3 h2so4 and hi when are poured into the water it is a uh, ions are formed because ions are responsible for conductance here chcl3 because no free chlorine is available that is no precipitation is formed next here is graphite act as a conductor because free electron is there that's why here is conductance is responsible from free electron here is covalent compounds in aqueous state or molten state not good conductor these are the points you have to remember next to topic is lattice energy what is lattice energy we can discuss side reading write down lattice energy what is lattice energy one by one we can discuss first write down lattice energy lattice energy here is lattice energy means the amount of energy released the amount of the amount of energy released energy released the amount of energy released to form to form one mole of ionic compound one mole of ionic compound ionic compound formed from formed from gaseous cation gaseous cation and uh, and uh, gaseous anion anion that is called lattice energy what is lattice energy the amount of energy released the amount of energy releasing released to form one mole of ionic compound one mole of ionic compound formed from gaseous cation gaseous anion releasing energy is called lattice energy but lattice energy we cannot determine lattice energy we cannot determine we cannot determine directly we cannot determine directly directly it is not possible directly it is not possible now which indirectly by using born haber cycle indirectly we can use indirectly indirectly we can calculate born haber cycle born haber cycle we can determine the lattice energy indirectly now we can write uh, what is we can write na plus is the gaseous cation this is the gas next one is cl minus this is also gaseous gaseous anion gaseous anion gaseous cation to form nacl solid is formed nacl solid is formed here releasing energy is lattice energy lattice energy is negative because here is formation means after released amount of energy not observed releasing now one mole of the amount of energy release the amount of energy release to form one mole of ionic compound 
formed from gaseous cation gaseous anion that is called lattice energy next one we can take another one delta hf heat of formation heat of formation or enthalpy of formation you can remember delta hf means heat of formation or enthalpy of formation what is enthalpy or heat of formation means the amount of heat released the amount of heat released heat released to form one mole of compound to form one mole of ionic compound ionic compound formed from formed from its its elemental its elemental and pure pure stable state stable state that is called enthalpy of formation what is enthalpy of formation students the amount of heat released to form one mole of ionic compound formed from its elemental or pure stable state but here lattice energy from gaseous cation gaseous anion but enthalpy of formation here is amount of heat released to form one mole of ionic compound is same from its elemental elemental or pure stable state standard state that is called enthalpy of formation next uh, we can discuss how to we can calculate the lattice energy yeah heat of formation we know heat of formation uh, sodium in a solid state in elemental state plus of cl2 gives rise to this one also gas any is a solid and of cl2 gives rise to nacl nacl is the solid is formed here energy released the amount of heat or energy released the amount of heat released to form one mole of ionic compound from elemental and pure stable state elemental state sodium in elemental state solid and chlorine gaseous to form nacl here energy or heat released that is called delta h of enta heat of formation or enthalpy of formation now i'm taking how to calculate the lattice energy of sodium chloride now it is solid is converted to gas what is the energy ma solid is converted to gas means sublimation energy what is sublimation energy one the solid is converted to gas without interconving liquid means solid directly converted to gas is called that is sublimation energy now i am taking here is sodium is gas here one electron i am removing electron removing means ionization energy removal of removal of electron removal of electron means means ionization energy what is ionization energy the amount of energy required to remove valency electron of isolated gaseous neutral atom that is called ionization energy now it is ionization energy now after what is formed na plus na plus this is the gas now we can take here of cl2 of cl2 means dissociation energy by 2 what is dissociation energy the amount of energy required to break the bond between cl and cl here is chlorine is formed chlorine this one is the gas now one electron is accepted the amount of energy release and extra electron is added to the outermost shell of isolated neutral gaseous atom that is called electron affinity now write electron affinity what is electron affinity adding of electron adding of electron adding of electron is called electron affinity now 
after adding cl minus this one also gas is formed now na plus is a gas and uh, cl minus also gas these are the unstable state they react they reacting after to form this energy is called lattice energy this energy lattice energy what is lattice energy students and uh, one the amount of energy released to form one mole of ionic compound from gaseous cation gaseous anion that is called lattice energy what is enthalpy of formation enthalpy of formation means the amount of heat release to form one mole of ionic compound from elemental or pure stable state that is called in enthalpy of formation or heat of formation here simple i am taking first one is sodium here is sodium is a solid state now um, so sodium is solid state sublimation energy is provided what is sublimation energy solid is converted to gas now sodium is solid is converted to gas here is gaseous atom one electron is removing from outermost shell here is the amount of energy required to remove the valency electron of isolated neutral gaseous atom in neutral condition only in gaseous state only we can remove the electron now here is na plus gas is formed here is dissociation energy by 2 what is dissociation energy the amount of energy required to dissociate the bond now here is chlorine gas is formed here is one extra electron adding of electron here is removal of electron now cl minus these two interacting to form nacl for this process releasing energy is equal to its all process all step releasing energy is same now right delta hf is equal to heat of formation is equal to first write down now sublimation energy plus ionization energy plus dissociation energy by 2 next to minus because energy release electron affinity minus lattice energy please write down this one sublimation energy first one is the first step is the sublimation energy next one is ionization energy after dissociation energy by 2 next after why sir minus because electron affinity amount of energy releasing that's why minus ea minus le lattice energy this is the equation we can use the delta hf is equal to sublimation energy plus ionization energy plus dissociation energy by 2 minus electron affinity minus lattice energy understand students simple lattice energy calculate by using this born haber cycle we can take another example first write down this next we can take another one this one visible okay we can take next example magnesium oxide okay shall i erase next magnesium oxide i'm taking magnesium oxide by using bar naber cycle only we can calculate the lattice energy indirectly now write down ma magnesium first one is magnesium i'm writing magnesium in solid form plus of o2 of o2 in gaseous form that v is rise to mgeo if mgeo means mg plus 2 o2 minus okay na now magnesium is a solid form now which energy we can use sublimation energy yeah sublimation energy what is sublimation energy now solid is converted to gas now i am writing here magnesium is gaseous state now here i mentioned magnesium in gaseous state now solid is converted to gas that is called sublimation energy now I, another one is a first ionization energy ie1 what is ionization energy 
the amount of energy required to remove the electron of valency shell electron of isolated neutral gaseous atom we can discuss in periodicity and deeply what is ionization energy now ionization energy means first ionization energy i remove one electron mg plus removing electron next one is another one ie2 second ionization energy and mg plus 2 why mg plus 2 in first ionization energy one electron is removing that is ie1 and next to ie2 ie2 means we are second ionization energy is providing we remove the second electron now this is the gaseous state now we can write half o2 half o2 means dissociation energy by 2 dissociation energy by 2 what is dissociation energy the amount of energy to break the bond between two atom that is bond dissociation energy or dissociation energy y by 2 means because o2 is given na? de by 2 now i am taking oxygen this one is the gas now i add e ea1 electron affinity 1 in electron affinity 1 means we are adding electron to the outermost shell outermost orbit now extra electron is adding means o minus is formed now again ea2 what is ea2 electron affinity 2 now extra electron is adding means o2 minus now this one is the gas and this one also gas these two are mg plus 2 and O2 minus O2 minus are combining what is the energy releasing that is called lattice energy minus lattice energy in all steps whatever the energy release and this single step energy released is same now what is lattice energy students lattice energy means the one mole of ionic compound formed from gaseous cation gaseous anion the amount of energy released to form one mole of ionic compound from gaseous cation gaseous anion that is called lattice energy what is enthalpy of formation eta formation the amount of heat released here is delta hf minus delta hf why here is amount of heat released to form one mole of ionic compound from elemental pure stable state they are standard state only now we can write how to calculate delta hf is equal to first write down first step is sublimation energy yes sublimation energy plus next step ie1 ionization energy 1 plus ionization energy 2 plus next one is after this this step dissociation energy by 2 next one is here is ea1 means amount of energy released now minus ea1 ea1 plus ea2 ea2 minus lattice energy minus lattice energy Please write down first one step is magnesium solid to gas sublimation energy I write written next one is IE1 yes first ionization energy IE1 I write next to IE2 after dissociation energy by 2 next minus EA1 here is plus EA2 minus lattice energy this all steps whatever the energy release the single step energy released is same now we can take this one is a we can calculate the enthalpy or heat of formation or enthalpy of formation next one is the what are the factors yes factors affecting lattice energy what are the factors affecting factors affecting affecting lattice energy what are the factors affecting lattice energy already what is lattice energy students lattice energy means 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन ए प्लस इज अ गैस एन ए प्लस नेक्स्ट वन इज सी एल माइनस एंड गैस दीज आर द अनस्टेबल इन गैस एल स्टेट दैट इज अनस्टेबल दैट्स वाई दे रियाक्ट टू फॉर्म एन ए सी एल सॉलिड इज फॉर्मड सॉलिड ओनली स्टेबल अंडरस्टैंड वाट इज लैटिस एनर्जी स्टूडेंट्स लैटिस एनर्जी मीन्स द अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी रिलीज to form one mole of ionic compound from gaseous cation gaseous anion that is called lattice energy okay now now what are the factors affecting means first one is write down if you know force formula force is equal to k q1 q2 by r square you know r is the radius and q1 and q2 are the charges now force increases when force increases means radius radius is decreases inversely proportional na radius decreases now lattice energy increases lattice energy increases force is directly proportional to lattice energy okay na another one if the size of the atom increases means radius is increases now लैटिस एनर्जी फर्स्ट वन अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन फोर्स इज इक्वल टू के क्यू वन क्यू टू बाई आर स्क्वेर इयर फोर्स इंक्रीजेस मीन रेडियस डिक्रीजेस लैटिस एनर्जी इंक्रीजेस अनदर फैक्टर इज लैटिस एनर्जी इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू चार्ज ऑन द कैटिया चार्ज ऑन एन एन इफ चार्ज इज इंक्रीजेस ऑन कैटिया लैटिस एनर्जी इंक्रीजेस If charge on anion increases means lattice energy increases. Remember, this one is the Z plus and Z minus means charge on the cation, charge on the anion. Now lattice energy is directly proportional to Z plus Z minus. Next one, lattice energy inversely proportional to size. Size of the atom increases. What happen? If size of the atom increases, means lattice energy decreases. If it is directly proportional to means this one increases, this one also increases. If lattice energy inversely proportional to size, when size of the atom increases, if atom increases means lattice energy decreases. Now remember these points. What are the factors? And lattice energy directly proportional to चार्ज ऑन द कैटियान एनियन इफ इफ रेडियस साइज ऑफ द आटम इंक्रीजेस साइज ऑफ द आटम इंक्रीजेस व्हेन साइज ऑफ द आटम इंक्रीजेस व्हाट हैपेंड इफ रेडियस आल्सो इंक्रीजेस व्हेन रेडियस इंक्रीजेस मींस फोर्स इज डिक्रीजेस नाउ लैटिस एनर्जी डिक्रीजेस रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट साइज ऑफ द आटम इंक्रीजेस because radius also increases if radius increases means force decreases lattice energy decreases these are the factors first factor is lattice energy directly proportional to charge on the cation charge on the anion lattice energy inversely proportional to size next one is lattice energy lattice energy inversely proportional to solubility solubility if solubility increases means lattice energy decreases this one also remember solubility means the amount of solute dissolved more amount dissolved means more solubility less amount soluble means less solubility if solubility is directly proportional to melting point and boiling point but here is lattice energy more means if lattice energy inversely proportional to melting point even boiling point also lattice energy is more means less melting point if melting point is higher means less lattice energy you have to remember what are the factors affecting first one is the charge of the cation charge on the anion next one is the size another one is a lattice energy inversely proportional to solubility next one lattice energy inversely proportional to melting point and boiling point we can discuss examples you can understand easily
factors understand you have to read perfectly then only it will be possible your aim if whatever the we explain and chemical bonding you have to follow notes and day wise day revision and practice the mcqs that is the success mantra just reading is a not important you have to work hard with passion passion is very very important okay these are the factors students and next i will explain examples what are the examples of what are the factors affecting lattice energy completed next one is examples examples we can learn yes first example i'm taking uh, write down first example naf and magnesium mgf2 next one is alf3 which one is more lattice energy this question i am giving naf and uh, mgf2 alf3 which one is more lattice energy lattice energy means already you know here is all are f minus minus charges fluorine also minus here also minus here also minus but here is na plus is there okay now plus one here is magnesium plus two next here is al plus three what are the charges increasing or decreasing our students here is plus one plus two plus three charges are increasing if charge of the cation or charge of the anion increasing means lattice energy increases what is the order sodium and magnesium and aluminium this is the order next question question number two write down na2o sodium oxide magnesium oxide mgo next one is al2o3 this is the example given now sodium oxide na plus again magnesium plus 2 al plus 3 charge of the cation charge plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 charge is increasing when charge increasing means lattice energy increases now na plus this one also magnesium oxide al2 o3 next example write down li2 li2o lithium oxide li2 n n3 li li2 n here is lithium oxide here also lithium but here is minus two charge is there here is minus three charge is there which one is the more charge li2 li2 now we can take uh, simply li3 n2 li3 because this charge is crisscross na a3 li plus 2 means yeah. li3 n2 n2 means here is minus 2 here is minus 3 what is the charge on anion minus 3 charge on another anion minus 2 that's why li3 n2 is the more lattice energy if you take another example naf next one is nacl next one is nabr nabr this is another question which one is the more lattice energy yeah students naf nacl nabr now i'm taking here is na plus and f minus here also na plus cl minus here also na plus and br minus sir naf is given nacl is given nabr is given you know already one a lattice energy is inversely proportional to size you know size is increases means lattice energy decreases now size increases because fluorine to chlorine chlorine to bromine here is fluorine chlorine bromine iodine which is the more size because iodine is the more size from top to bottom the size is increases why size is increases here is here is nucleus is present here is outermost electron outermost shells means number of shells are increases when number of shells are increases means nuclear attraction on outermost electron decreases 
when decreases means size is big that's why here the bigger size means lattice energy decreases now this one is the bigger size bromine that's why this is a smaller size small size means more lattice energy now NaF NaCl NaBr that is the example we can take uh, another question LiF next one is LiCl LiBr and which one is the more lattice energy in this also in the fluorine is a smaller size small size means more lattice energy big size size increases means lattice energy decreases that's why LiF LiCl LiBr if you take another example I am taking NaCl and NaBr which one is the more lattice energy more lattice energy means chlorine NaCl only NaCl is more lattice energy if you taking NaCl NaCl and magnesium chloride MgCl2 here both are Na plus is there plus 1 here is plus 2 charge on the cation increases charge on the cation increases lattice energy increases that's why here is MgCl2 is the more charge is the dominating factor write down charge is dominating factor dominating factor dominating factor these are the example you can prefer lattice energy what are the example NaF MgF2 Al2 and these are the example you can if uh, in examination they will ask melting point or boiling point lattice energy either covalent character in next uh, class I will explain and uh, Fazan's rule what is Fazan's rule student percentage of covalent character in ionic bond but 100% ionic bond is not uh, not available even 100% covalent bond also not possible some amount of ionic character and covalent character is present now percentage of covalent character in ionic bond explained by Fazans the Fazans rule will be explained in next video and please like it and comment it and share it if you are any improvement okay all the best your